Hey everyone, it's Mr. Shy Guy, and last time we had so much fun decorating some awesome cupcakes that we decided we're gonna do it again. So this time, we're gonna make some even more amazing cupcakes. So this first cupcake that we're gonna decorate is probably one of my favorite ones because it just looks so cool when it's finished, and it's gonna be a monkey face. I mean, who doesn't think monkey faces are hilarious? Because they're super funny. So for this monkey face cupcake, we're gonna start with the chocolate cupcake, and then we're gonna put chocolate frosting all over the top. So let's begin. Take our piping bag here and just cover the whole thing with chocolate. Mm. So now that the chocolate's on there, let's spread it out. Gotta get it nice and even so it's all over the top of the cupcake. All right, so now the cupcake's covered in chocolate frosting so we can begin building the monkey face. First thing we need is three Nilla wafers. So let's find some good ones. One, two, mm, not this one. This one looks better. So now see, we have one, two, three perfect Nilla wafers. So the first one is gonna be his nose. So let's put this one right here, okay? to create the monkey nose, see? There's the monkey nose, okay? So the next thing we need to do is put the eyes on the monkey. So let's get two candy eyes to do that. So we're gonna put the eyes right in the middle of the cupcake, right above his nose, which is the Nilla wafer, his nose and mouth. Perfect. Let's put them closer together so it's cuter. Awesome. So see, now he has his eyes on there. So the next thing we're gonna do is take two Nilla wafers and put them on kind of an angle to make his ears. So see, now he has his eyes and ears, so let's draw his mouth and a nose on him. So we're gonna use the sparkle gel to make his nose and mouth. Let's draw them on. And look, there's his monkey face. He's a happy, silly monkey. He's fun and super easy to make, so you guys should do it at home. All right, let's move on to the next cupcake. So this next cupcake, we're gonna make a big fluffy white sheet. So first, let's start off with the white frosting. Put it all over the top. Let's spread the frosting all around so everything will stick to it. So next, we're gonna take a chocolate Whopper and put candy eyes on it to make his face. See, now the sheep has eyes. Let's put all that fluffy white wool on it. So for the wool, we're gonna use lots and lots of marshmallows. So now we're just gonna stick marshmallows all over him to make his big fluffy sheep body. Now we need a lot of marshmallows all over him to make him really soft and fluffy like a sheep. Need a few more marshmallows to cover him up. See, he's so fluffy that he's completely covered in wool. You can barely see his face. Super simple, a big fluffy white sheep. And look, he's all the way around that he's lost in his wool. So sticking with the barn animal themes, this is gonna be a chicken, all right? We're gonna use a white cupcake and we're gonna put white frosting all over it to make a white fluffy chicken. So let's start. Spread the frosting out again. Okay, so now we have the cupcake completely covered in frosting so we can begin decorating the chicken. So what we're gonna do to make the chicken is use jelly beans and that's it. So let's take four red jelly beans and one orange one. And then we need two candy eyes. So let's put the candy eyes on first. So see I put the eyes on, now let's put a beak. So the orange one's gonna be a beak. We're gonna put it right in between those eyes. Perfect. See, there's his orange beak. Next we're gonna put the waddle on underneath his beak. Then we're gonna put the crown on the chicken. 
And there you have it, a fun, simple chicken face, all made out of jelly beans. So this one's super easy for you guys to do at home. I suggest you try this one. So this next one's themed after one of my favorite characters ever created, Cookie Monster. And it's just gonna be a big, fluffy blue monster with some eyes, and we're gonna shove some cookies in his face. All right, let's do this. So to make his blue fur, we're gonna use this can icing with a star tip on it to make it all furry and fuzzy and fluffy. All right, let's get started. So this one, you don't have to be too perfect because he could just be a mess. That was super fun to make the fur. Look, just like a real fur of a cookie monster. So next, really simple, all we need is two googly eyes. So let's take these two candy eyes and we can literally put them wherever because Cookie Monster's eyes fly all over the place. Put them kind of in the middle like that. Next thing we're gonna do is take some mini cookies. Take three little mini cookies here. I'm gonna take one for myself actually. Mmm. I couldn't help myself. So we're gonna take the cookies and just shove them into his little face here. And see, look, just like Cookie Monster, shoving his face full of cookies. I don't blame him because those cookies are really tasty. So this next cupcake, we're gonna make a beautiful flower using Sour Patch Kids as petals. So the first thing we're gonna do is cover the cupcake in frosting. Let's use a little bit less this time. Then we're gonna spread it all around. Nice and covered cupcake there. Then we're gonna take another gummy saver and put it right in the middle of the cupcake. There. Then we're gonna take all different colors of Sour Patch Kids to make the petals of the flower. So let's collect them. So now we have all our Sour Patch Kids, let's start laying the petals. And I'm just gonna go random. However I feel, I can make the flower. Doesn't matter, you could decorate these cupcakes however you want, any colors you want, any styles you want, just free form it, it really does not matter. And look how cute that is. It's a flower with Sour Patch Kids as petals. I like it and it's gonna be super sour as well, so that will surprise anybody who eats the cupcake. So this next cupcake I saw online was meant for Christmas, but you know what? It looks super fun to make, so I wanted to make it now, and it's gonna be a reindeer. So let's make a reindeer cupcake. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the chocolate cupcake and cover it, of course, with the chocolate frosting. So now that the cupcake's covered in frosting, the next thing we're gonna do is take a Nilla wafer to make his snout. So we're gonna put it just right there. So that's gonna be the front of his face. So next, let's give him some eyes. So reindeers, of course, have huge, huge antlers. So to do that, we're gonna use pretzels. So let's get two really big pretzels here. Let's make sure they match kind of in size. Okay, those will work. And then we're just gonna put them on the top of his head here, like giant antlers. Perfect. So this reindeer is gonna be Rudolph, so he's gonna need what? His bright red nose. So we're gonna use an M&M for that. So we're gonna take the red M&M and put some of this gel on it so it will stick, and just put it right here on the front of his nose. and let it stick. And there you go, there's the reindeer cupcake. Perfect for Christmas or any time of year because it's super cute, look at that. So I only have one cupcake left, so I think we should make it just a traditional, beautiful cupcake, all right? So let's just start with white frosting all over the top. This one we're just gonna pipe on with the star tip so it gives it that nice cupcake frosting flavor. There's gonna be a lot of frosting on this one, look at that, it's gonna be delicious. And then, of course, to finish off any traditional cupcake, we need colored sprinkles. So let's do that. So even though this cupcake is super simple, it looks like a party with all those colored sprinkles on top. Perfect for any birthday party or just any time of year. It's been super fun to make all these cupcakes, but I am dying to try one, so I'm gonna take a bite out of this one. 
Yeah, that's a good cupcake. And the sprinkles give it that extra crunch. Really good. Mm. So take a look at all the cupcakes we made. There's the sheep one, and the gummy flower one, and the reindeer one, and the cookie monster one, and the chicken, and of course the monkey one, which is so cute. He's hilarious looking. So thanks for joining me today and helping me decorate all these beautiful cupcakes. Now I encourage all of you to go home and try to make some of your own as well. Make sure you check back because we have new videos coming out all the time and they're always a lot of fun. So until next time, remember, don't be shy. Hey little shy guys, I hope you like watching my videos. Make sure you click the big red subscribe button. That way you'll be the first to know when I have new videos ready for you to see. And don't forget to watch some other ones, like the music video for my song, Don't Be Shy. I'll see you next time. Don't be shy.